Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your end of March reading. This is for the sign of Pisces. Generally my readings are love readings. We're going to get one of these oracle cards and I will reveal it at the end. And then we'll break right in that, that, into that tarot deck. Um, use your common sense. This may not resonate with you. Oh, there's two. We don't want two, so I'm going to keep going. We will reveal it at the end. Pisces. Pisces. What do we have for Pisces at the end of March? Ooh. Okay, so there could be some manipulation, there could be some lies, there could be some lust, but it isn't true, none of it. Yep, somebody doesn't want to put work into something, somebody really doesn't want to work on something, they may have tempted you, okay, there may have been some temptation here, you know, but now they don't want to work on it. You may be tempted this week, but beware because it doesn't look like it's going to lead to anything. Okay? I think you guys have worked hard on feeling good again. Okay? I think you guys have come out of a period of withdrawal or you're coming out of a period of withdrawal. But there's a feeling of being dissatisfied over something that was, that tempted you in the wrong way. Okay, there's some sort of dissatisfaction here. I'm not happy how this turned out. Yeah, and you may have been dealing with somebody who is very selfish, smothering. Or they may have felt that way about you, but I think it's you dealing with somebody that was, you know, selfish and immature. It was a learning experience. Yeah, you were dealing with somebody who didn't care about your feelings. They were only thinking about themselves, damn it. Yes, sir. Yeah, I see this. I see this this time of reflection, this time of solitude. You guys are I think you guys have been in and out of it. In and out of solitude. You could have been dealing with an Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You know, I think that there is a, there's like, there, I think that something has happened here where you are releasing, you're releasing some um, disappointment. And regaining control because I feel like that, that you were dealing with somebody who was very selfish and self-centered. And they, they probably looked very, very good, okay? But they weren't never planning on putting any work into it. They were working on themselves, and all they cared about was themselves, okay? So I feel like <laughs> now you are probably taking the lead to regain the control back that was just taken from you, from this person who, you know... I think used you in some way. I think there was somebody that used you for something and now you're letting them go and restoring some control back to your life and you're probably taking another time out. It's like, you know what? I'm just going to have to withdraw at this time 
to refocus, you know, to refocus on my future and figure out what it is I'm really looking for because this was a learning experience. Okay. So I feel like you're having some power struggles back and forth, and I and I see that I see see that you guys are going back and forth. You withdraw, you put out there. You would have, you withdraw, you go out there, and that's what it looks like. So it feels like that's what the power struggles are. You had some competition with this person that lied. And what I mean by competition, I mean they probably had, you know, others fighting for their attention. It was a lesson. Absolutely it was a lesson. You guys learned a lesson from this. Whatever it was, a lesson has been learned. And now you're, you're working on the next phase, okay? Now that a lesson has been learned, it's, it's time to move on. And this is good luck, okay? Fortune is coming. I mean, good fortune is on its way. It's a change of course. Whatever happened over here where somebody took advantage of you and weren't, wasn't planning on investing anything in you because all they cared about was themselves, that was a huge lesson for you. And I feel like now you guys have a change of course right in front of you. And this is a lucky break. It is. And that's what happens when you learn a lesson. When you learn some sort of lesson, you usually get a reward. So it looks like there is some sort of lucky break on the way after this lesson. Okay. The devil. I mean, that the devil doesn't bring in good stuff. Lies, deceit, lust, manipulation, addictions. You know, I think you guys have a, a new love, perhaps a new opportunity for love, okay? You have to make a choice, perhaps between two different paths, that could be the case. But I think this is very unexpected. I feel like you guys have a chance for, you know, a, perhaps a new lover. If you decide to go that route, if that's what you're interested in, there is a chance because this is a change of course. And this is... Um, you will have to make a decision. But I think that you guys might procrastinate with making that decision. Because it's like you're not wanting to, to accept the truth of a situation. The blindfold is on. I don't, want to, I don't want to hear the truth about this situation. Now this is, you know, this is, a, this is sometimes a soulmate connection. It's also seduction. So I'm wondering if you were seduced by this person and now you have a choice to go someplace else or you have an interest to someplace else because this is a decision sometimes between two opportunities and this one is two. So I feel like you guys are probably ignoring the truth, perhaps about a soulmate. I don't know. This is going right here. Oh nine of pentacles so this is i don't this is almost like feeling ungrateful lack of self-worth yeah there's some feeling of you need to make a choice. You do. There's a decision here. Okay, there's a decision here that you that you know about that you've been ignoring. You've been ignoring a decision about somebody. And I think you know who this person is. Okay? And I feel like there was a feeling of ungratefulness that maybe you have changed your mind about. And you might not want to work on something now as you, but the thing is, is you're still ignoring the truth here. This is ignoring the truth. This is, it's time to make the clear choice. It's time to make the clear choice. Because there's a lack of, of worthiness here. There's a lack of happiness. I'm not happy. I'm not happy where I'm at. I feel like I'm going nowhere without this person. The thing is, is you know what choice you need to make, but you're procrastinating with making it. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Interesting. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm going to get this zoomed in. So, yeah, there's a choice here. There is a choice here that you need to make, that you have the blindfold on, and you don't want to take the blindfold off. But it would make you very happy, right? I mean, there is an element of happiness here. So I feel like you guys have an opportunity for a commitment, you know, or a love connection that you would have to work on, but it could lead to a lot of happiness. Okay, it could. It's probably destiny. This person, whoever it is that you have a new opportunity with, I think that you are destined to be with. And it leads to a lot of happiness. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But it's like you're procrastinating. But you're unhappy underneath with that Nine of Pentacles reversed. And it is absolutely time to make the choice. I think you know what the clear choice is. That's what this says. But it feels like you're trying to prove yourself. This is, do you want to prove yourself or do you want to be happy? Do you want to prove yourself or do you want to be happy? What is it? You know, it's time to drop the burdens. I see that many of you um, have made a conscious change. And if you haven't, then now's the time. This is making a conscious change that leads to happiness. I think there's been a lot of change here. There's a lesson that has been learned. There is. There's a karmic lesson that ha this is karma lesson. There's a karmic lesson that has been learned because somebody took advantage of you. And I think now you guys are realizing something and deciding to make a conscious change and it leads to happiness. Yeah, it's like this is liberation here. The worst is over. You can only go up from here and that's what's happening. I think you're letting bygones be bygones and you're just letting go. Because right now, I think that there's a feeling of unable to offer love or unable to receive love from anybody else. This is like, I can't, I'm very discontent at this time. I'm looking for more. I'm looking for more. I need more. I know what I want. I think you do know what you want. The the problem is is that you have to take action. You're procrastinating in regards to this lover that you're thinking about. But the thing is is you're going to have to put a lot of work into it. Somebody from your past. It is somebody from your past. Hmm. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. New beginning. That's what this is. This, this death card is a releasing of the burdens, like I told you. Letting go, letting bygones be got bygones. And this is a new beginning. But it feels like someone is in denial still. Someone is in denial in regards to this new beginning. So there could be somebody from your past that you are thinking about and you're unhappy about the circumstances because unhappiness is on, down below. And you know what you need to do, but you're unable to make a move in, in denial unable to communicate this is lack of communication unable to communicate i don't know why because it could lead to a happy happiness it could lead to happily ever after it could lead to a solid commitment so i don't know who this person is but i think you have a choice between perhaps two people or the past in the future okay it was a choice between two I think that you guys have went through some sort of karmic lesson where somebody messed with you, played some games with you, and it really opened your eyes. 
and now you you probably want to communicate with somebody but you don't dare to but with this ten of cups and the six of cups and the death card there's a new beginning here so maybe there's a new beginning with somebody and this could be even somebody from a past life okay or this could be somebody that you went to school with I think there is an opportunity for love here if you would take action Just trying to see who we have for signs here. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Where's all the rest of them? We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn a lot. Remember I said it at the beginning. You can go back and rewind. It's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And you have an Aries too. So I feel like there could have been, you know, I don't know. You figure that one out. But I feel like there is a new beginning here. With somebody that you've known before. Could be a soulmate connection and it could lead to happily ever after but somebody's in denial but they're not in denial because you know I think they know what their choice is but they, they're afraid to take action you've come a long way right you have a lot of life experience behind your back. Hard work pays off. It's in your hands. All you have to do is step outside of your comfort zone. Fight for what you want. Stop being so stubborn. Forgiveness. This is forgiveness. It's time to put yourself in the driver's seat and take action. Replace fear with faith and get moving. So Pisces, I feel like this is a week of good fortune. Really it is, okay? There's a change of course because I feel like you guys have come to some realization you've made some conscious changes in your life after being perhaps used by somebody and I think you've come to some realization about what makes you happy and you're unable to take this action for because I don't know why you tell me I don't don't tell me I, I don't care but anyway um there's a reason why you can't take action you know what it is I feel that whatever this is, there is an opportunity for a relationship. But somebody has to stop procrastinating and take the blindfold off and take action and actually make a decision. Stop pretending. Stop ignoring the truth. Stop being so stubborn and, and work on something. Okay, I don't know what it is. But it feels like there's a lot of stubbornness here. There is stubbornness here. It's like pride as well. A lot of pride. It's like the pride is hurt. And I think that, you know, you have to, you have to take ap action and not let pride stand in the way. Forgiveness is needed. This is letting go of sorrow, letting go of hurts. So I feel like you guys have a new opportunity for some sort of relationship or coupling or partnership with the lover's card. And you know who this person is. I think this is per somebody you have known before. And, you know, it's all in your hands. But this is make a clear decision now. That's what this card means. It's time to make the clear decision. Stop procrastinating. It's not serving you very well, is it? Because with the Nine of Pentacles under here reverse, it's not making you happy. I don't know what that means, but maybe it's procrastinating with finding this lover. You know, or putting yourself out there. I don't know. You can you put you apply it to your situation. I do see that somebody has learned a big lesson and now they're they're wide awake. Soul solitude. 
Your soul needs attention. There are moments when it's important to get away, not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet, a place for soul solitude. This is a time to pause, a time to reflect, and a time for you. And I think I mentioned this at the beginning about you guys just withdrawing. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I think that this is a time where you guys are actually withdrawing as you make this clear decision that I'm telling you about. You know what is why you're unhappy. Take the time you need to forgive Replace your fear with faith. And to come up with whatever plan it is. To bring stability and security back to your life. Stop procrastinating. Come up with whatever plan it is. To bring this back to your life. is what it is, right? Talk to you later.